First, the soil sample need to be extracted from sampling location. Next, the mass of tray need to be recorded as M1. The soil sample are poured onto the tray and spread evenly. The weight of the metal tray and the soil sample on it are recorded as M2. The drying process of the soil sample done by exposed to the sunlight for whole day. Then, the weight of the dry soil and the tray recorded as M3. The weight of a glass bottle with a stopper are recorded as MY. Next, the oven dry soil sample was taken about 10 to 20 grams and be cooled in a room temperature. The sample carefully poured into the glass bottle, then the weight of it is recorded as M2. A 10 ml of water were added into the bottle to salt the salt. The next step, the glass bottle were put into the vacuum chamber to remove and trap air. Then, after the vacuum has been done, more water to be poured to make sure the glass bottle is full. The stopper then be put in. The glass bottle was kept on stand in constant temperature water bag for 1 hour. Then, the glass bottle was taken out from the water bag and wiped it clean and dry. The weight of the glass bottle fit with soil sample and water were recorded as M3. The bottle was empty and be cleaned properly. Then, the glass bottle was fully filled with water and make sure no entrapped air bubble in it. Then, the stopper was put on to the glass bottle and wiped dry, then the weight being recorded as M4. First, clean all the container using brush and tissue. Next, weight of each plastic containers, which is a sieve pen if in real lab, are recorded. Soil sample then carefully pour into the top sieve and cover with the plastic container lid. The sieve stack then place on a bowl as a mechanical shaker and shake for 10 minutes. The stack then removed from the mechanical shaker and carefully weigh for each plastic container with its retained salt. Fill the pouring cylinder with a sand until full, then the weight is recorded as W1. Then the pouring cylinder put it on calibrating container and let the sand fall in. The weight of written salt recorded as W2. Sand be poured from the pouring cylinder on a piece of board as a glass plate in the lab. The weight of heat sand recorded as W3. At the side, the surface area was clean, used brush and the box as metal plate put on the clean surface. The ground be excavated to make a hole using shovel up to 15cm. All the excavated soil be collected into the tray. A new fully sand in pouring cylinder be recorded and placed onto the excavated hole. Then the sand be poured to fill the hole. When no more sand fall is observed, the cylinder hole be closed and be removed. Then the weight of the cylinder with remaining salt is recorded as weight new. All the excavated soil then be recorded as weight excavated. First, 
Soil samples are put into the plastic bottle as a triazeal cell in a lab. Soil then be tempered to compact the soil and be flatten the soil sample surface in the plastic bottle. Next, carefully pour water into the plastic bottle until it reaches the meniscus of H1. Then, leave it for a certain time until the water came out from the plastic bottle. When the water reached the H1 line, stopwatch started and the time recorded as T1. The stopwatch then be stopped when the water reached the H4 line and the time interval recorded as T4.